This episode of Stuck in Vermont is made possible by Hotel Vermont and Vermont Tourism. Go forward, go forward. Welcome to Stuck in Vermont, brought to you by Seven Days. My name's Ava Solberger, and we are here in Fair Lee at the Lake Moy Resort for the Ice Sports University Weekend. And I'm on Nordic skates for the first time ever. I know you're afraid of this cold world. The sun is shining high. You take it to the floor. You threw out your own life. You can't anymore. This weekend, guests are learning how to curse how to ride Nordic skates, like me, how to ice fish, how to cross country ski, and how to play pond hockey. And all of this is perfect timing because the Olympics is coming up in February, and what better time to learn how to do some winter sports. This weekend it's all about getting people comfortable with being outside and hopefully getting people that don't necessarily have access to all of this because this is for us is daily life. We ice fish, we skate, we get out here and play hockey, but a lot of people don't have access to that. You know, everybody's commenting, we don't get any ice back where we live anymore. We got ice. We got ice. <laughs> I'm here for the weekend, actually. Oh, we're just looking for some winter fun activities. Yeah. We're cross country skiing. Try out some winter sports and thought it would be fun to get away and do something out in the snow. One of the most popular activities we're having this weekend is curling. And there's the curl. It involves taking these 42 pound chunks of granite and sliding them down the ice in such a way that they'll stop in the center of a bullseye target that's 114 feet away. Once the projectile has been released from the thrower, you can influence the path of it. Sweep! Sweep hard! By sweeping hard, they can make a stone go further and keep it straighter. They talked about reading the ice and, you know, turning it this way and that and the sweeping. I couldn't do it, I fell twice. You have to make sure that you're positioned just right. You have to release the stone just right. It's sometimes called chess on ice. Okay. There, now let her go. Right. Woo! Clem Powers, who's out teaching people the fine tuning of pond hockey. The way hockey is meant to be played outside in the fresh air. First time doing pond hockey. The official pond hockey face-off, tap your stick three times and then the puck's officially in play. So I do the Nordic skating, where I teach people how to use our Nordic blades. They're meant to go on the lakes and the ponds and they're much easier than figure out hockey skates. Actually, this is going to be the best butt workout you've ever had. Oh, good! <laughs> so what you're going to do, you're just going to bend over a little bit and you're going to weight shift on to, let's say, your left leg and you're going to push off with your right. And then weight shift to the other side and push off with your left. I've done Nordic skating. I almost died, but I was all right. Nordic skating is the first time I had skates on in 40 years, I will say. We've never done the Nordic skating. We've never done the curling. So we wanted to try something new. That's our ice fisherman right there. <laughs> We're looking for uh, largemouth and smallmouth bass. John out there is teaching everyone how to ice fish. You just pulled this guy out of the ice. I did. He's huge. That was a northern pike. Oh! No, he's you living. You let him go! Yeah. You let him go! I baited the hook. Oh, wow. Yeah, I named one of the fish. His name was Sherman, uh -huh. and he was pretty excited. It was a pickerel. A lot of the people we get are from Massachusetts, Quebec, Connecticut, New York City. We're not from New England originally, but we find that everyone here really like gets out and the weather doesn't stop people. I would stop you if you weren't out on the ice and say, what are you doing? Get out there! Have some fun! Yeah, it's cold out, but when you're in Vermont, you, you have to get used to this. It is a little windy, but if you can get over that, it's above zero, so we're happy. I just like being outside in the cold. I don't like the summers. Right. <laughs> I am crazy, yeah. We're outdoorsy people. So we like this kind of stuff. We're gonna go for a hike probably tomorrow morning and try to go up to Eagles Bluff. It's a little windy, but that works for you and it works against you. <laughs> I'm exhausted. Me too. <laughs> we might um, go in the hot tub. I was like, is there a class called hot tub? Because I'm in it. I That's my class. Everyone is excited for the Olympics. This way they can feel a little bit connected to the Olympics. A few of my friends who are going to be in the Olympics this year. Yeah, in Sochi. So it's pretty exciting. We have so many Olympians around this area. We're very excited about the Olympics. We're actually hosting a tournament right here during the Olympics. Every four years, curling gets a big boost when the Olympics comes around. Yeah. When we watch the Olympics now, we'll have a better appreciation for what they're 
are doing during the curling event. Lake Morris Skating Trail is four and a half miles long. It goes all the way around the lake. We are talking all the way around. It is spectacular. The longest skating trail in the nation. Most of these people that you'll see out here are locals. And every day we're out here just maintaining this great trail for the public to use. It's kind of a hidden gem. Of course, it's ginormous, so we didn't get all the way around the lake. I'm on the trail almost every day. I go out in the morning around 7.30, 8 o'clock, check the conditions. If I'm using my Nordic blades, it takes me about 20 minutes. 23 minutes? Was it? 23. Well, the way down there, we got to the corner in like 6. Yeah. We were honking. It's the way back with the wind. Oh, the way back with the yeah. wind. Yeah. Any weekend, you see a lot of people out here ice fishing, skating the lake. Is your sister here? Yeah, she's like skating right behind you. Oh, nice. <laughs> Ooh, nice. Yeah, there we go. It's great to see. Brings people to our community. It's public property. We keep it maintained. Just come on out and have some fun. around here we don't feel stuck at all this is where we want to be we want to be stuck in Vermont that's right damn well, straight I would darn tell straight. you that my t-shirt says stuck in Vermont and proud of it because <laughs> stuck in Vermont is like stuck in the snow stuck in the mud it's not a bad thing no not at all I not at all. purpose that's right me too me too so I'm right there with you all right thanks Thank much you. Hotel Vermont is personal purposeful and natural. Rustic and modern. Unique, independent, and unlike anything else. It's fun, it's exciting, hip and relaxed. It's Vermont, it's Burlington. Come down for a beer, come stay overnight, we'd love to see you.